So in this video, I'll be installing the sighting. In the last video, I finished the soffits. Uh, the camera actually died before, so you didn't get to see the finished product. So I'm, I'm just going to throw some pictures so you can kind of see. So today is going to be the sighting. I've never done sighting before, but it looks fairly simple. I think it should be pretty easy once I get started. So I'm hoping to actually finish it today. And once that's done, then it's almost done really. Like I have a couple finishing touches. Like I'm debating on if I want to seal and insulate the inside or not. Because for the solar system, I want the batteries to not freeze. But I might just keep it uninsulated and build a separate insulated compartment for the batteries and the charge controller and all that stuff. So that way if the studs are exposed, it allows me to add more electrical later on or whatever, right? Like even like hang stuff, like it actually gives me a bit more room because I can store stuff between the stud cavities and all that. So I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do. And then I have to build a ramp. So pretty much it's almost done. The siding is probably going to be the biggest thing that's left. The rest is all little things here and there. So should be pretty, pretty simple. So yeah, so today I'll do the siding. So let's get to work. Oh, and another thing, you probably noticed something's missing. I decided to shave. I usually shave in the summer and then I grow it back in the winter, usually in September, October, whenever it starts to get cold again. So yeah, so I just decided to do that. I actually kept it for longer than usual this year. Well, it's actually been like the second or third year now that I grow one. So but yeah, I just decided rambling to start it a couple years ago and now I do that every year.
Okay, so the G channel's in, the starter strip is in, everything is pretty much in. Now I got delayed a lot today because the first time I ran out of screws for the trim. Like it, I hadn't even started sliding yet and I was already running out, out of screws. So I'm like, okay, well I better go buy out pretty much everything they have because the number eight one inch screws, they only come in like these tiny little packages. So I just emptied the whole shelf basically. So I don't know why they don't make them in like bigger buckets like some of the other screws, but oh well. So I got a whole bunch of those. And I got back home, I started to do the trim, and then I realized I was short by like one J trim, so I had to go back to Home Depot and then get more of that trim. Came back, finished installing it, and I started the starter strip, and then when I went to cut the siding, I realized that my saw blade isn't big enough to actually cut like a full sheet. It leaves about like this much uncut. So now I started thinking, hmm, do I buy a bigger miter saw? It's always nice to buy new tools, but it's like, that's still a lot of money, you know, two, three, four hundred bucks maybe for a decent one. So I think what I'll do is I'll just cut it with tin snips. I try it in, it makes decent cuts, so it's not the end of the world. Now, I actually still have to go Home Depot anyway, because for the solar system, it's going through the wall, and then I actually want to make it go through the soffit instead, have like a little piece of conduit to protect the wire, and then just have the wire go up through the soffit, and then it'll probably go like down and into the charge controller and all that. I need to find some kind of grommet or something that I can kind of put to protect the wire. So basically, off to Home Depot again. Today is a new day, so now I'm ready to start on the siding. Uh, the grommet for the electrical is in the soffit, so I move the solar panels away to a different spot, and then the wire just goes up. Eventually, the solar panel will be on the roof itself, so the wire will just kind of go under. So for now, I just have a small 60-watt solar panel on the ground. That's hooked up. Now I can start on the siding, the hole that was in the wall for the solar panels is now covered. So, off to start to work. going well it's pretty hot out there so my sensitive ginger skin is actually sunburning so it's time to put some sunscreen so decided I'm gonna take a little break while while I wait for it to set because apparently it takes about 15 minutes for it to actually take effect so it's a good excuse to take a break so yeah so I got one full wall done and then half the other and so far it looks like I'm gonna have enough siding at this at the start I was starting to worry because I was almost done full box and only had like one wall done but it looks like I'm gonna be okay it's hard to tell yeah, hopefully I don't have to go buy more because it won't actually fit in my car, so I'm not sure I'm going to get it. I'm going to take a break and head back to work.
Hi, so today is a new day. Uh, yesterday I ended up doing two walls of siding and then I didn't get a chance to finish the rest. It was just getting late. I started kind of late and I ran into some issues doing the angles where you had to cut it. But you can't measure it exactly because you have to account for the lip underneath. So it got a bit tricky so I kind of wasted a lot of time figuring that out. And then I ended up building a jig to make it easier to do the cuts. Today that should go faster because now I kind of got a hang of it. Yeah, I got the, the front where the door is, and then I got the other long side, and then that's it. So let's get to it. So this is it for this video and I ended up going to Home Depot, forgot my debit card so I had to come back and I went back, I made it just before closing so I managed to get a piece of siding and then I ended up going out for a late supper with a friend and then now it's about 10 and it's dark out, I decided to call it quits for tonight and this is going to be it for this video. I'm not going to bother making another video for the small amount of siding that's left, I'm just going to go ahead and do that off camera. And then the next step in this project is to pretty much build a ramp that goes up. I'm kind of undecided how I want to do it. I might build like a little porch or something or maybe just keep it simple. I'm not sure. So that's the next step. And then after that, it's pretty much to just clean things up. Maybe do a bit more electrical. Maybe put an outside outlet. And maybe inside outlet. I already have one. Maybe put another one. But probably not going to bother. My cat wants some attention because I haven't given her any at all today. So... Oh yes, she likes daddy. Oh yes, you like daddy. Oh yes. So yeah, so that's about it for today. Hope you enjoyed that. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and all that good stuff. Bye.